Hello everyone, welcome to No Man's Sky 2.33 Normal Mode. This is actually the save that I did uh, the tutorial in Normal Mode on. As you can see, there's the geometric atoig. <laughs> uh, today, I'm just going to take you along for a little while on what I do in between videos. Oh, there's an A-Class ship. Two million bucks. wonder if I can catch the guy. <laughs> I uh, just arrived in this system and uh, was just taking stock of what the system has to offer and, you know, melting any A-class and S-class ships that happen to come along. <laughs> this is probably going to bring out the radiant pillar. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things that I haven't done on this save and um, mostly they're uh, milestone related things. Uh, because I just haven't had the time to do it. And uh, I was, I normally uh, delete whatever save I do a tutorial with. Um, and I was going to delete this save. I don't think I need any of those. Cool, now I have 12,000 nanites. And then I remembered uh, what a great save this actually is. Uh, I had forgotten. It's been 20 days since I played this this save. 21, actually. Yeah, 21 days. Do that right there. Uh, did I get anything of value out of that? I didn't even get an augment. For goodness sake, that'll teach me. <laughs> so, so we're working on uh, milestones, and I've got five planets to check out in this system. What are you going to do? Sell stuff. Uh, not my indium. <laughs> Don't want to sell that. Uh, should be some activated copper. There it is. So I just got here. This is called Betsuno. It's an affluent Viking system with a fractious uh, conflict level. I haven't seen any fighters that really blow my socks off. I have bought several... Oh, you're like the Air Force officer, dude. I have bought several frigates, though. Uh, one, a really nice one, a C-31 uh, industrial ship. Uh, request dialect help. <laughs> so I have to meet aliens and learn words. And... Um, do uh, survival and zoology and a couple of other things. Oh yeah, sentinels and I think that was it. Meeting people, zoology, survival, sentinels. Yeah, I think that's everything. And then of course there's all the uh, guild ratings and all of the um, individual s species ratings. Did I meet you yet? You hold still. I know it's hard for you to see me down there. <laughs> I'm not even uh, like really worried about any particular kind of words. I'm just learning random stuff. Just moving the save along. That's all I'm doing. And since I was able to get Family Share working, I now have five extra saves on Steam. Oh, I already did that. I already met you. Uh, where'd the other guy go? Oh, they're hiding from me. There's, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> this is the sort of stuff that I do uh, in between uh, videos. And uh, if I have the energy and stuff to do it, I've already got that one. I've already got missions. And there's the milestone for meeting people. Yeah, we have an A23. I didn't get anything out of the last day's ship. This one will give me something because it's a fighter. I'll grab this one. <laughs> Not worrying about uh, breaking anything down on these ships. 
Uh, I'm just scrapping them. And eventually I'll have uh, time to go to the exotic system and scrap a couple of dozen exotics so that I'll have the actual nanites that I need to, uh, oh, it's not this one, it's the other ship. <laughs> so, yeah, this ship, uh, the Atoig is S-Class. Although I need to count, uh, look at how many I got. This is typical of a fighter, being able to get five modules, at least three modules. And now I have, uh, 13,500. Look at how busted this is. <laughs> so many busted parts. Uh, still no augments. But I got a superconductor. Alright, I'm gonna give up on augments from this system. Uh, oh good, he just got here. Can sell stuff to him. Hi. <laughs> There was one more thing, was there? Two more. Oh, activated copper. I'll keep the superconductor. All right. Let's go see what the planets are like and uh, check on this. Uh, so I need to meet seven more uh, aliens for the next level. There we go. I need to kill 10 sentinels. Uh, survive. Oh, only four tenths of a day on an extreme planet. And I've got lots of zoology to do. Three of them, I think. Alright, what do we got? Thought I scanned these. <laughs> There's a regular gamma planet. That's a regular lush. We'll go take a look at it in just a second. That is a forming catastrophe. And that's what I'm looking for right there. Activated copper. And I think I actually even have a mission to take a picture of a desert planet. I uh, actually dumped a bunch of stuff out of my suit onto the freighter, let's see, uh, so that I would have room for ferrite. What? Oh, just a traitor. <laughs> what? What do you want? Bargain for a relic. Oh, I'll give him a Viking dagger. Hopefully whatever he gives me is worth more than 30,000 units. Fancy stone dauber. Uh, oh, it went to my ship. 213,000. Cool. I made a profit. <laughs> this guy uh, does get a lot of interactions. Um, the save that I really want to improve the living ship on hardly ever gets any interactions. storm crystals. I also don't see any buildings. Well, I'm sure I have enough uranium. So we just need to spend a half a day on this planet. I should say, if it says extreme storm. It just says storm, so it's not going to actually help. Even though it's got activated copper, um, it's not extreme. So you can see that not all uh, planets with activated stuff have extreme weather. Ooh, 
little creature. That is one of eight. There's another one over here. <laughs> There's another mission. Three of eight. Stormbirds. <laughs> no stormbirds. Hmm. That kind of takes the sense of uh, hanging out on this planet away. I need an extreme planet. And since we have two uh, on this save with bases on them, I'll probably just jump over there. Thought I saw a no. Oh, that's way over there. <laughs> Thought I saw a knowledge stone right there. It's on fire. Some damaged machinery. of course. Let's see, I think I have all of my shields are done. Grab some of those. We'll go uh, check out that nice planet. I have, uh, I think I have base computer archives, uh, so I'm gonna see, oh, is that a frozen planet? Hello? I had it. Activated and frozen. So there's another planet we can try and see. There doesn't actually have to be Oh, there's an anomaly. There doesn't actually have to be an extreme storm going on. It just has to have the potential for an extreme storm in order to be, um, in order to count towards survival. So, uh, since it's been 20 days since I picked up this save, <laughs> That's amazing to me that it's been that long. Time is flying by. But since it's been that long, um, it seems a little bit, I don't know, it's weird. Like, I'm not really sure what to do with this save. You don't have anything to say to me? What are you going to give me? Nanites, all right. 602 nanites for that one. <laughs> that's nothing to slouch at. I mean, 602 nanites, that's enough for an S-Class upgrade module. Good grief. Might not get the engines in. Looks like I didn't get... The boosters yet. I gotta do that too. Need to destroy some starships. Got the guy behind him. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, where was I going? There it is. Still have rock music. I don't know why. <laughs> it's kind of a, it's kind of a weird uh, video. Um, the only thing I had planned for today was to update this save. This is the last one that I need to update before I get, um, before I do my, um, backup save file. Uh, 
know uh, a lot of people uh, update their games far more often than I do. Uh, I believe um, uh, Zane updates his, or uh, backs up his save file um, every week because he does it right before he starts his Sunday live stream. And uh, I just don't do it that often. I'm, I kind of, you know, I kind of almost don't care if uh, one of my characters gets killed. It just gives me an opportunity to start over. <laughs> Although I must say, uh, with Permadeath a Journey, I think I might be a little upset. What is that? Oh, <laughs> I think I might be a little upset because that's an over 200 hour permadeath save. And it's taken me almost, well, six or seven months. Come here. <laughs> to build that save. But uh, the Beyond Survival save, I can replace that in, you know, a few weeks. And uh, this save was never meant to stick around, like I said before. The only one that I would really be upset if I lost would be the main save. But that's normal mode, so if he gets killed, he just goes and picks up his grave, and it's not a big deal. What do we got right there? Uh-oh. <laughs> this guy does not need any food. Don't even look. Go the other way. <laughs> oh, there's a building. There we go. For an extreme planet, this place is pretty calm. It's temperature. Minus 141 Fahrenheit. Oh, oh, eh. we've got dragons. Scan. There we go. <laughs> really cool dragons. Wow, these guys are awesome. Green and white. Very cool. <laughs> There's no fighter in this group. That guy's cool looking. <laughs> if I need a picture, it's probably of a land animal. I forgot to take a picture of that desert planet. Where's that building? There it is. <laughs> oh, wow. What an awesome sunset. <laughs> That's cool. It's a huge cave. Ouch. <laughs> There's no reason to say ouch. <laughs> now this is uh, an extreme survival planet. But that doesn't mean that there's going to be storm crystals. And I don't need any. My ship is absolutely full of them. It's for sale here. <laughs> I have all that stuff. Alright. Just need a few more minutes. Just trying to get one milestone here. Ah, storm crystals. Floating crystals. Uh, humming sacks. Fruits and vegetables. Here's a storm bird. If I can get it to scan. What is that leaf? Ah, come on. There we go. Sometimes that audio effect gets stuck, the scanning audio effect, and uh, you just need to start a scan on something else to make it stop. You don't need these things. <laughs> if you remember in the beginning of this save, 
the way that we made money was by selling storm crystals. And I would say the vast majority of the money at the beginning was from storm crystals alone and nothing else. No, don't, don't, don't take the wheat. You don't need the wheat. <laughs> Right. Let's see how we're doing. Stream survival. Just a couple more minutes. Go back towards the ship. Go check out that pretty green planet. Oh boy. <laughs> I keep meaning to go back and look and see if... Uh, we're repeating stuff on the community event. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a long way down. <laughs> but there's a possibility that we might need storm crystals again for an event. And I guess what we've learned is hang on to stuff and uh, get extras because <laughs> we continue to need the same things over and over again he also doesn't have a jetpack color why i went miles as far as that another 350 feet I thought that was going to drop off in, into that canyon right there. <laughs> oh boy. Run. <laughs> All right. There's that predator. <laughs> See any more creatures? There it is. 16 souls. So now we have, uh, I think it's four more to go. Extreme survival, four more to go on that. And kill sentinels, 10 of them. I grab a save. We'll take off and go explore that pretty green planet. Just in time. <laughs> ah, no freezing. Ah, yuck. 16 is just too low. Let's see here. There's a trade vessel. Uh, that's not bad. 19 is pretty low, but it's got positives in all the other categories and no negatives. Damaged four times. I wonder if that matters. <laughs> oh wait, I'm going the wrong way now. I got turned around. There it is. <laughs> I've reloaded my game since I scanned that because I was uh, ship shopping. I didn't see any fighters that I really liked though. It doesn't really matter to me uh, too much where a ship come from, comes from. Uh, some of the best fighters I've ever gotten have come from Gex systems rather than Viking systems. And I don't know uh, now, since beyond, if the conflict level has anything to do with it. I think it might have before, but a lot of things have changed, like really subtle things have changed. Um, not the least of which how stats are calculated. 
and um, so I'm waiting on the professionals to figure all that out. This looks like a super nice planet. I am going to drop the base computer, see if it'll let me do uh, base computer archives. And oh, look at this. Oh, the sky is red. Bummer. Let's do that first, and then I'll cause havoc. <laughs> uh, base computer archives. See, it says it's in a different system, but let's see if I can force it here. It says, or construct a new base computer. Oh, there's a trade post right there. <laughs> I didn't even see it. <laughs> I have to change my log again. Oops. I've been told this doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Doesn't look like it. That's too bad. So it used to be pretty stable. You used to be able to drop a base computer and just do your base computer archives right then and there, but apparently that does not work anymore. Oops, wrong button. Nanites. Poor little creature. Language. Nav data. Got a lot out of this place. <laughs> Alright. Oh, the dead heart of a warrior. I always get this one wrong. Um... Yeah, I got it wrong again. I always get it wrong. <laughs> the knowledge stuff. <laughs> I mean, besides the fact that it makes things ugly, the reason I don't like red skies is because it makes it so dark. I want to see. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that fighter yet. And that guy. Two out of eight. Do I see bugs over there? Yep, they sure did. looking fighter. It's too small though. I know you could make them bigger but it does take some effort. <laughs> it's not an effortless thing. A, a lot of people say oh just buy a tiny ship you can just make it better but you still have to work for all of those augments and nanites. I used to always have six ships and this save, I barely even bothered. I kept my Radiant Pillar, um, and I finished the Living Ship update, and I have this one fighter, and that's all that I've done. Oh, that's interesting. Creatures running everywhere. There we go. That's half of them. <laughs> Is there one down there? Oh, 
don't see anything. I wonder if there should be something down there. Uh, nope, they're all ground creatures. Four rare ground creatures, my god. Oops, hit something. There's a T-Rex with antlers. <laughs> It's a gigantic mouse. <laughs> Where's my shift key? There we go. <laughs> He's pretty cool looking. It seems like I've got the hardest ones. Got both birds and bugs. <laughs> what about that guy? No, it's just a different one of the same thing. <laughs> oh, there's a knowledge stone. Somewhere over here. Aw, it's on the other side of that thing. What's that? Bones. I don't need money. <laughs> there we go. Oh, a predator. Right there. It's another kind of T-Rex. There is two of them. Sorry, dude. Aren't you just this bad? <laughs> He's a dodo bird. Uh, let's see. I think I have three to go. I'll get them later. I come up here and save a little fuel. <laughs> I think I said I had seven people left to meet. This guy's not even going to stand up. <laughs> it's Viking hopping. It's a new sport. In honor of the Olympics being canceled this year, we'll have to come up with our own sports. Good lord. <laughs> Was he dancing to his death tune? this guy. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. There it is. This is the fighter that I didn't see on the space station. But it's only a B-18. I'm not really in the mood for a project right now. But there's that ship. It's got the single engine. It's got the soft round canopy. It's pretty cool. Turn the sun on. There you go. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Trying to get the glyphs on there. <laughs> there we go. Nice and legible there. All right, men, you go away. Here we go. <laughs> Civic duty. <laughs> A 
back over to the space station. <laughs> so I got two milestones done, or updated anyway. practicing drifting into the space station. <laughs> Alright, let's see where the, the game actually wants me to go. I'm right at the beginning of the Artemis quest line, so that's in there. There we go. All the way home to Pam Elk. Oh my goodness. All right, what's the name of this place? Uh, Betsuno. If I don't look and see what the name of a place is, I can't find it. And, because <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I don't want to end up cutting off, you know, 150,000 light years worth of travel. Light's not on. It says, wait a minute. Oh, it changed again. Okay. That's why the little light's not on. There we go. Space computer archives. I probably have whatever it wants me to do done. Oh, I have to build that, that thing. Okay. 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 There we go. <laughs> Thanks for letting me leave. <laughs> That's a done deal. <laughs> Only four. <laughs> Guess we get the little one. And the glass panel. I have such a long way to go. I'm sure it didn't leave that poor animal stuck in there the whole time. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if they hadn't put that that hold to change the amount thing in there. Alrighty. Back to work. Uh, space stations. Alrighty. I am going to uh, leave this here and uh, back up my saves, my save file, uh, by going into app data, and that's percent app data percent, opening the Hello Games folder, and uh, I'll right click on the save game uh, file that starts with ST and then a bunch of numbers and copy it. Uh, probably to my pictures file and uh, just change the name of it. Um, the very end of it I just change to copy. Uh, I leave all the numbers and everything in there in case I need to use that file all I have to do is delete the word copy uh, out of the file name and replace it back in in case anything goes wrong and I do that about once a month although I probably haven't done it for a couple of months all right, you guys, I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.